could have went 0-2 like I did. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have Grand Finals, SRMs, SRMs, Akuma ZX versus Korn's Alucard, both of which will be going to Combo Breaker. Akuma ZX is actually my ride, so we're going to be doing some grinding once we get there, probably play some casuals for a couple hours before the, the ballroom doors open. But yes, Korn Alucard, the best Hugo in the world, will be in attendance. Look for him to be claiming some bodies, claiming some heads. Hopefully, he doesn't run into Boy Toy again. Well, you know, that's the thing, too. It's like, my money would be Antoine. Uh... <laughs> now I really want to go. <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah, see, I was gonna, I was gonna say, I would put, I'd normally put my money on yeah. Antoine at all times. It's just a matter of him if he runs into yeah. that random yeah. character that no, he, nobody plays yeah, here. Yeah, no, he he played, um, he played against Gol Boy Toy, and he said he said it was bad. It was bad. He said it just every, everything he did, he just shut down. Because Boy, Boy Toy is good. I played him. He's pretty high ranked on Xbox Live, but uh. Well, the following week, as a, as a, as a troll, I played Chung Lee against him. <laughs> I I arranged, I I rigged the bracket so I play him and I played Chung Lee, and I actually almost won like three rounds. Yeah, that that matchup was hard for him because all the angles he needs to approach, he covers really really well. And I was just saying right here, you know, Gokin is one of the matchups that uh, Hugo really struggles with. You can see he just covers so much real estate, but in neutral. You gotta be careful because if you throw a fireball, Hugo can focus that SPD, which is what he's looking to do right now, as you can see. You just see? Went for it again, but just a little out of range. Got caught by EX Tatsu. And that's great for Goku because he gets all that real estate back. Nice. He's gonna set this fireball game up again. And you can see him teabag and trying to get the, the hop. Gets the trade, but it's just it's, oh, oh my god, this, this could be this could be it. This would have been a good Do not time. jump. Okay. <laughs> as you can hear, he was fishing so hard for that counter hit. That would have been game. But as you can see, that's just that's the power of Hugo. You know, you get one knockdown, you get one jump in, one clean hit. That could change the whole the whole match. Cannot do that. But Gogan's got the fireballs. He's got the different angles with the fireballs, and he's got the best sweep in the game. Yep. Nice, nice, those good. He's on point with those EX passes. He really, yeah, he that, that's one thing I like about uh, Darius's Gogan is that he really knows the range of when he can do the EX Tatsu. And plus in that in that uh, space, it's almost kind of like a Suedo option select. So like if he focus dashes in, right, there's a good chance that it, if, if he gets grabbed, wasn't able to do anything anyways, it was punished. Yeah. But if he dashes up and it's unsafe, EX Tatsu is going to come out, he's going to get popped for it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm pretty sure, no, 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 no disrespect of theirs, I'm pretty sure he's not doing it. That's kind of Suedo option select, he's doing it as a punish. But that's just kind of like how, how that situation works. Exactly. So. But Twan answering back, grabbing that round from him. Oh yeah. No, we seen we seen uh, JWE that guy try to do the same thing with uh, Dance, and it didn't work because he's yeah. not on point with it like uh, Darius is. Yeah. Exactly. And Darius is trying to get out of dodge there, resets the situation, and Twan's just chasing him down right now. Nice. He's gonna get the full screen real estate again. But still got a bit of a life deficit to make up. And he's also charging his fireball so that can give some more powerful hits. Yeah, it gives him two hits. Gives him the, ch the timing nice. change. Yep, nice. I think Darius will get pretty far if he doesn't run into a, a good Rose player. Yeah. Um, well, a lot of people don't know. I believe it was at UFGT9. I think he actually made, I think it was top 32, if I'm not mistaken. He, he did really, really well. He, he, oh my yeah, god. You can hear him. Yeah, you can yeah. hear him. You can, no, yep. And no. you can see right there, that's what makes it hard because Hugo is just so big and his fireballs are so wide. It's hard. But, uh, no, but yeah, he actually, uh, Akuma ZX ran into Flo, actually, in that okay, tournament. Yeah, uh, okay. And just narrowly lost. I mean, it was, it was a great set. Nice challenge on the answer. Okay. It does, but it doesn't have, uh, Shuma. I mean, look at this. Look at this. I mean, come on. 
Yeah, I, I would really like. I mean, I know Antoine's trying, but I would like to see him bust out uh, his, his Rog, maybe Evil Ryu, maybe Sagat. At this point, he may have to do that. Yeah, we'll see. Because. Try to get psychic. Oh, yeah, try, try to get psychic on a back that Darius didn't didn't overextend. <laughs> I cannot believe the how the how well Darius is doing against Twan. Yeah, he's he's. I, I really wish. Uh, like he's cracked the Da Vinci Code. Yeah, I really wish that guy was either here or still paying attention because this would be a really good primer on what he needs to do in this matchup. Because that guy, as you can see, Darius is holding his ground. You know, even though he he's getting some. Uh, Twan's getting some straight hits in. He's really trying to hold his ground and stay in the mid screen. That guy is just backing himself in the corner. But you can see, I like this. He's good representation of Roundhouse there. Yeah. The only time he has, the only time he's going, he's moving himself to the corner is because. Yep. Oh my God. What yeah. was that? Yeah, that guy was almost practically always in retreat mode. Yeah. He's, he's too scared. You can see, and. and Again, I like Darius's use of fireballs here. Oh, oh what? He actually, that's the first tattoo he whiffed. And that's gonna give Yo Capcom, please. What was that? Look on Darius's face, this is priceless. How? Hugo might be a boss for that. He just went, oh, oh man, you know, let me let me show you how it's done. Hold up. What the? That was nuts. So Darius, just narrowly losing that one. Had the right idea. That was kind of kind of getting robbed a little bit, I think. I yeah, that was a ro that was highway robbery. Oh, oh my god, no! Oh, that was so smart. No, he thought no, he thought the Twan was gonna do a focus dash forward, but he held it instead. That's so smart. The Twan is just looking for a jump back right now. If you look, just when you think you got some technique, yeah, he, got, yep. he found that jump Jeez. back. And he got it. Yeah, see, if you look when he's just sitting there, if you if you watch Twan's hands, you'll be able to see where he's buffer backbreaker. That's what each of those little spots are. He's buffering. He's waiting for you to leave the ground. Ooh. So Twan answering back. So Taking now game it's two. two. One. Oh, wait a minute. It's, it's one, one. One, one. One, one. Sorry. One, one. Thank one. you. So Twan answering back. I really like that choice of what he did with the folks detector. That was good. Made Darius switch because so now Darius is going to be a little kinda, more. He's going to be a little, a little more uh, cautious. But a little more active as well. And you can hear all caps in the background going nuts over Mortal Kombat. <laughs> nice. That was good good presence. Man's trying to punish that. Oh. Made squasher. Yep. And Darius tried to. Not, he did not do a single fireball. Yeah. Twan has literally got him. Okay, there we go. He's nice. Not See right there because the dash it wasn't wasn't a punish. He did a DX Tatsu and then he punched Juan for it. So it was really really good. Oh come on, baby, you got to stand roundhouse that. And Juan, as you can see, just getting the whip punish, getting a fat combo, trying to spy a jump back, doesn't get it. That's, uh, that's game. Pop. No, he misses the. Nah, uh, that's straight. Yeah, he didn't oh, get wow. time. He said the gigantic dick in the back of the head. That is Andre the Giant. That's Andre the Giant. But Tron going up 2-1. So this really it still isn't bad for Darius because he's still he's in winners. So Tron, even if he resets, it still has another set to kind of play with. Yeah, but he really needs to hope he really nice. needs to set, reset himself in a way. He's doing a great job of that right now. Getting the, the neutral jump confirmed. Oh my god, Tron with a knockdown. What's he got? Gets countered. Yeah, trying to navigate the obstacle course again. This, this is so hard. Trying to control the space again. Yeah, he's got. He's trying to close the distance. I feel like he. Oh, that's twice he could have got Yikatsu. Darius maybe on tilt just a little bit. A minute ago, Darius had Boardwalk and Park Place. Yeah. Now Twan's got it all back. Yep. And Twan, with, 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 with a small pop off, definitely feel himself. I like it. Oh, uh, good whiff, good whiff, good timing on that. You go over there like, oh, the tattoos are timed. Okay, so, so here we go, this is what I'm talking about, because the thing is, he's getting a little bit of damage off of the EX tattoos, but it's the positioning that's more important, because he resets them to full screen. And oh, on. that meat squasher. I'm point with the meat squasher again. This is the follow-up, though. Yep, good punish. 
Nice. Good presence of mind from Antoine to backdash that. Like attack. Oh my god, this could be bad. Don't jump. Don't jump. Don't jump. No, and he, he knows jump. he didn't want to jump. That's 250. That was a lot of meat. That was a lot. To that is 250. Let me get that again. Reseto. Yes. The bracket is now <laughs> reset. Reseto. <laughs> Mr. Ortiz has reset it. So, so, Juan. so if you look with a convincing reset on the reset. Reset. So and Alcar is just pulling him out. Doing oh like he did God. with White Boy Hugo. He's pu pulling up. He's just bullying everybody. Oh my! Out. Don't jump! What are you doing, sir? And like that, I That's think piss. I think um, Darius might have lost his wits a bit. Maybe I think Darius should go back to character select. Just take a second, calm down. Um, I mean, I, I like that he's going back to the fireballs. Yeah, but it's yep. And Juan got a negative edge there. He didn't want that. Oh, come on, baby. You got it. Oh. Nice. Good challenge on that. That's a good thing to point out, too, is that um, input errors can happen to the best of us. I mean, you had one yeah. tonight where you went for the fireball and got... DP. Oh, yep. and, it, and it cost me the match. And then I did. I got teleport, even though I did it towards the right. It gave it to me to the left. I'm like, what? Like, I did not want to teleport into the corner. Uh, you know, stuff like that has, has been happening, like, more than yeah. it should in Ultra. Then. Yeah. Oh, he, he manages to cancel that Tatsu. Nice. That tatsu. So, that, I was about to say, this is Darius Games. He said, wow, the fat ass from Hugo. He needs to, he needs to calm down a bit though. Yeah. So this is actually not a terrible situation for Twan because even though uh, Darius got that round, he still he still has almost a full stick to work with, and he's got the knockdown. Slowly pushing to the corner, so he's willing to spend these resources just to get better positioning. Because as we saw, life difference against Hugo does not mean a lot when you're in the corner. Oh, nice. <laughs> Okay, man, he, he might have found something. Oh, oh on, he whipped it. Two, three, four, five. five. He's got hit it all. Yep. He blocks it though. He needs to. He, okay, he gets. And Darius. I see. I like that because he didn't really go for a damage. Oh. He just wanted to push him out. But Twan dashes in, hungry. Oh my God, Twan is fishing for the jump back so hard right now. Oh my God. And Juan up 1-0. Up 1-0 in the reset. A minute ago, Darius was on top. Now was at least on top a bit, but now yeah, he was he was doing really well. So I, I think they're gonna probably see uh, Akuma. Akuma. Probably gonna see Akuma. I, which uh, I would rather see Oni. But okay, I like that. I was going with the Oni. Oh no. Okay, now it's just okay. Now it's just he's fucking with one. Yeah, no, no, no. He's thinking. He's thinking. He's thinking. He's thinking. Stick, stick yeah. him with go, okay. Uh oh. So I don't know if that was on camera. It might have been, but Alucard looked at the camera and went tap the forehead. So. Oh no. Oh, his Alucard, has lost, Alucard has lost his glasses of wisdom. Minus five to the intelligence stat. <laughs> So, I wonder how this is going to affect the game. He's out, he's out, he's out. I'm going to play blind. Nice, good challenge on that. Oh, his lens popped out. That's what happened. Yeah. Wow, the range. Grabbing the, the normal. Yep, that's meaty. Don't do anything. Oh, another body slam. Gets the punish again. Takes half his life. Nice, I like that. Hot two on that. He gets the fireball. Oh, he got to avoid that. <laughs> just, 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 he needs to just neutral jump that. He needs to just neutral jump. Don't, don't hold back or jump back. He neutral jump. As we can see, just that that ah, one that one meat squasher. As I said, put get put in the corner. That changes everything for Hugo. It changes everything. Round two up and up and coming. He tries to get psychic on the neutral jump. Darius doesn't bite though. Oh my oh, god, man, the counter hit combo into the reset. Even blind, he's fucking hitting these combos. Jesus yeah. Christ. Nope. Oh, cannot dude, jump. You, you cannot jump with him, no matter what he does. No matter how, how much. 
When are anybody going to learn? Well, there gets to a certain point where you get mentally exhausted. Yeah, and you start going on autopilot or your bad habits start coming out. And that's definitely been a, a bad habit that Darius has, that once he kind of gets either a little flustered or things don't really go his way, he starts jumping. Uh, kind, kind of the, I have a similar bad habit when things don't, don't, don't go my way. I like to just try to bulldog my way in because I'm like, fuck this. I want to press buttons. Oh, it, the frame broke. Yeah, the frame actually broke. Oh, that's some horse shit. Yeah, that sucks. Ass fuck. Had to get some duct tape. That might be more broke than I am, Juan. <laughs> So, you know, it'd be badass if, my, if Antoine started playing with a monocle. <laughs> he'd be a real life Dudley. <laughs> he'd, be, he'd, he'd, be, he'd be a real. Oh, now see, I, uh -oh. I, I don't mind this, but he's betting everything on Oni right now, so we'll see. That's not um, this matchup not terrible. Uh, I'll say maybe five five at most, maybe six four Hugo. But, I, I mean, honestly would have went with the Akuma just for the yeah. air fireball. Just, 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 well, it, it's hard because if he has Ultra 2, he can scoop him through that. Oh, that goes through that? He did that to, uh, there was a, the very, one of the very first Ram Bats. Uh, Carl came out here and he tried to run away from Twan. It was, he only had like a third of his life. He did jump back against air fireball and all of a sudden he see Hugo go, yoink! And uh, he used to see Carl's look at him like, what? So I was like, yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> as I put his arm out, like, you can't do that. Handshake. See, and that's the thing. Carl's made one appearance for the Wall Raven Weekly, and that's a great thing. But, you know, the, the big stars are more likely to come out to uh, Ranbat. So, for a lot of you, I guess we had a low turnout for the Ranbats this week. Yeah. Shame on you folks. It's the Ranbats that pays for this room. Exactly. For the so, so you can come here Sadly and play for enough, free. More, most of the people were at the Comic-Con than they were at Ranbats. Yeah. Where was, where was their Comic-Con oh going at? God. Was that Novi? Oh, we talking about uh, Motor City Comic Con. Motor City. Oh no, uh, Shudokan was where the tournament was at. Oh, Shudokan. Yeah. Oh my God. And Darius, this is bad. Now he's in the corner. Twan just slowly. Does not need to be there. Yeah, he just. Oh my God. You know how much died. he would have almost got it. Yeah. There we go. So now that that's part of the reason I, I don't think this match was terrible for Oni. Ford Pierce controls a lot of space. And if Hugo tries to hop over a fireball, he can kind of pop him with it at the right range. And I don't like him just backdashing like that. That's just it's not good. Twan smells blood in the water. Oh he's my two God. rounds away from putting yep, this he's away. Ah. 120. Misses it. This is the last stand for... Sorry, I was going to hit. That's a counter hit. But it's not... A, no, no, it's a block. It's over. <laughs> Yeah, that was an obvious block. I'm sorry. That was an obvious block. I'll, I'll think. I don't think you want you want to understand how bad I want to chuck this mic at the screen for that. <laughs> Are you? All right. So, Elkar okay, answering back gets the knockdown. Tries to catch Darius standing up. He's blocking his feet. And again. Twan just has him locked in the corner, looking to seal this. Darius drops the combo. That could have been huge. Nice, just trying, just trying to the space him out, push him out with a block string. But Twan gets right back in. Trying to bait an ultra two. Nice, nice little I like that. Nope. Oh my God, no way. Nice, nice. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, Twan. You got a point. You got a point. He said he, said he backed that. He, he, he saw it, but the game didn't give so it to him. Now it's 1 2. So we'll see. Definitely a matchup that's a lot, a lot more winnable for Hugo. Oh my god. And Darius tried to see if he was holding the focus to DP it. But ends up going sailing. Oh, he just dropped that combo. Oh. Okay, drops it. Oh my god, jump! Oh. You need to stop. Why is he going? There we go. I know. See, I like that. Exactly what you're talking nice. about. I want to see he can pop. Oh my god, he can pop with Ford Pierce with that every time. Every time. Th thank you. Ford Roundhouse too. Nice. Ooh. Nice. So, Darius. Yeah. Yeah. So what? So Darius is actually a big fan of using the light punch version of the electric fireball. Has better recovery. A lot of people go for the, the three hit one. But definitely, and also uh, changes the speed. Kind of caught Twan off guard a little bit. Nice. Good challenge on that. Let's see what he's got. There's an DP. 
Nope. Yeah, Shot. He's getting that combo on and that. Now he's down in the corner. Now, now see, I like this. Because, oh my and now God, he took him out of the corner. You know, what he's, he's, he's doing. What are you doing? There he's putting put his head in his hands. He knows he's messing oh, up. He's no, panicking. He's, but he gets out of jail. No. I want to come oh, up. I want to come up the wing. Yes. Stop letting him out of the corner. You let him walk himself right out. What are you doing? Come, I want to come up right off the table and just there. Like I'm, it's nothing against Twan. Was like it just upsets me when I see Darius. Just like he literally just let Twan walk his way out of the corner with Hugo, much less. That's like giving him, giving a mass murderer a pardon. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, well, that, it actually doesn't hurt as bad as it could. Actually, never mind. I'm a liar. Only, <laughs> only, the only has 950. I'm gonna think. Oh my yeah, God! Yeah, he's done. And that's three right. one. Antoine, Antoine takes it. That's one thing. That's one thing. Bullshit. Even when it didn't hit. That was bullshit. I was like, yeah, he's good. He was it. Even with uh, without glasses, he still managed to make it through. And there you go. Swan is once again your ultra street fighter. Oh, no, I know. I was like, oh, he's good. He got this. Why are we going ahead and uh, transfer to the next tur transfer to Marvel? I think it'd be a good time to check check out some of our check out some of our con our sponsors. Dead State Pavilion. If you were at Yamakon or Shotokan. Then you were playing on Dead State Pavilion, Dead State Pavilion tech, technology equipment. Dead State Pavilion is the best in video in video game tournament setups. So, once again, Combo Breaker is in is just three days away now. I get I get your registration, get your rides, get everything up, and get over to Combo Breaker, which is in Rosemont, Illinois, in Crown Plaza. See if you have what it takes to be one of the Midwest the best. Hurt on the, uh, also the also Paragon Paragon Graphics that which is owned which is owned by our very own Q, who was on who was on commentary. He'll do, he can do for everything for streams, for ar arcade sticks, the works. All you gotta do is go go down to Paragon Graphics and and hit up Q and come by the Thai Dining Experience.